So our topic for this video is relative pricing. Um, I picked, as usual, the example stock to be Apple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the P-E ratio and how we can actually come up with an expectation of a price or a price prediction based on the changes to the earnings per share. So let's wrote, write down in our spreadsheet um, some of the basic information about Apple. So let's take a look. So the symbol that we have is Apple. Our earnings per share is 11.89, which simply means that we are willing to pay. In the meantime, let's get the stock price. 175.07. So it simply means that we are willing to pay 175, or at least the market is willing to pay, $175.07 for an earnings per share of $11.89. So we're going to make $11.89 by investing in Apple $175.07, which means the PE ratio, price to earnings per share ratio, is. 14.72. Now, <clears throat> the PE ratio is quite famous. Everybody likes this. Everybody uses this, which is quite nice. It really is how much you are willing to pay for each dollar of future earnings per share. So if you're willing to pay $14.72 for each dollar of earnings in the future in this company. So let's take a look at another company, say Amazon. The price is 175, 1,775 or seven. And earnings per share is 23.95, which makes the PE price to earnings to be 74. We would refer to Amazon as a premium stock or the premium price, um, perhaps overpriced. And Amazon, in this case, compared to uh, Apple, compared to Amazon, is uh, a discount. Now, look at it the other way around EP, earnings to price. This becomes, in a way, return perhaps return on investment. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the EPS, earnings per share divided by the price, which makes it a percentage, and then do the same with this, which makes it a percentage. So any money that in, you invest in Apple, the expectation is you're gonna earn about 6.79%. Any money that you invest in Amazon, it's expected that you earn about 1.35%. So what makes it so that people are willing to pay this much money for this little of earnings on Amazon? That's the expectation of growth. Now, with respect to Apple, what makes it so that people pay this little of money for this much return? Um, and that's the expectation of growth compared to Amazon. Now, what makes this the topic of relative pricing. So let's delete or let's take the Amazon down a little bit and then let's talk about Apple. Let's say that Apple had an earnings today and they came out and they said that we won't be able to make or we don't predict to make 11.89 cents earnings per share for the upcoming year. For instance, trade war is really bad and we won't be able to import everything from China uh, at a price that we thought we would and therefore this is going to affect our prices. In fact, the other day, some analyst was arguing that Apple's supposed to lose about 30% of their earnings per share if trade tariffs, uh, trade war escalates with China. So let's calculate what the expected price would be for Apple if they were to lose 30% of their earnings per share. First, that would simply mean that they're going to get the earnings per share 70% off that earnings per share. So this times 70 
is going to be the new uh, earnings per share after the trade war escalation. Now, if we keep the PE the same, what would be the new price? Well, the price would be this times the PE and $122. Now notice, what we did is we kept the PE the same. We simply said that the people's opinion, investors' opinion would not change about Apple and that whether it's a premium or a discount stock, it would not change. And based on that assumption, if the earnings per share were to go down to $8, then the new price that people will be willing to pay for this would be $122. Now, if because of the trade war, the people's perception change, and therefore they wouldn't consider Apple to be a $14.72 of a PE, and they punish Apple even further and pay even less, then the PE would change as well. However, relative pricing simply refers to, given all other conditions kept the same, what would the price be based on a single change? So in this case, if earnings per share is expected to drop by 30% because of the trade war escalation with China, if the expect earnings per share goes from 1189 down to 832, then based on the current PE, the price of Apple would go down to $122. Let's do the same for Amazon. If Amazon also had an impact of 30% in their earnings per share and left with only the 70% of their previous earnings per share, then their earnings per share would go down to $16.00. 77 cents based on the PE of 74.12 the new price would be about $1,242.62 that, that's a drastic drop so this is pretty much why the market is dropping based on the escalation of trade war and its impact on the earnings per share of stocks the relative pricing, in this case, what we did is we basically used our previous PE in, in relation to what we expect the price to be based on a change in um, earnings per share expectation. So this is an example of a relative pricing based on the PE.